Old flat pack national beehives from Thorn come with a roof and here I'll be showing you how to put one together. Here we have the outer tin, we have the four walls of the roof, two with vents, two without, four lats for the inside of the roof, the sterling board which the metal tin goes on top of and our pack of nails for putting it all together. So we're just going to start by assembling the outer walls. You've got your two with your vents and your two without vents. They can only go one way up. And then these just lock in. Just locks in as so. And it's the same for this side. And then spin it over. Pop that into there. Obviously you can't, you can't get your vents the wrong way up because they can only go one way. The next step is to nail all the corners. We just go around and as we go, just tap them all up, make sure they're tight. And then using the inch and a half nails which you get, it's one in all three. punch them in to get them out of the way and that is repeated on each side of every corner these are the Canadian cedar we have Canadian cedar and English cedar and these ones are the Canadian. It's slightly more expensive. Because of its because of its um, ability with weather conditions, although it's a soft wood, it withstands the weather very, very well. These the English cedar and the Canadian cedar hives don't need any treatment if you don't want to. Some people paint them but there's no need to. It's natural defences against the, the weather are very, very good. So now we're going to put the four lats on the inside of the roof at the top. So if we bring that like that, what you need to do is you take your first one, put it in place, and put one in like that, just offer it up so it's just nips it up. And now we're going to be using these little inch nails, little round heads, and we just put Two in each one. And just work it round. Two in the second one. Keeping your lats flush, the top of your roof. And same again for the third one. And the last one just slots in. Now those nails, they hold them lats in place just while we get some better fixings in the outside here. And it's the same nails again, the inch round heads and just through the outside wall into the lat, far down each side to give that lat a more permanent fixing. eventually that is the lap that your sterling board will sit on your inner inner roof board and that's the lats nailed on and that's now ready to have the sterling board put on just before this sterling board goes on it's just to fit these two pieces of mesh onto here with the drawing pins that you get in your pack over these vents here so that when your roof's in place and built they create an airflow push your drawing pin in tap it in one two and then if you set two about halfway back they won't interfere with the rails on your roof
The vents allow air to flow through the into the roof and out the roof through the hive, but they add with the mesh in place, bees can't get in and out of them. And those are your vents in place, ready to fit onto the roof. Set the roof and lining your vents up on your walls, with your vents on your roof board, your sterling board. That just sits on there. And we're back to using the inch and a half lost heads which come in your nail pack. Put one in the corner. And then it's four down each side. So we can square that up, keeping that flush, and that'll keep that'll bring that roof walls square with the board. And it's just four nails down every side. So here we have the tin. And that sits on top of the roof, just like that. Make sure that's on, pressed down all the way. And then it's back to the corner of the bench for the fitting of the nails. You can use a centre punch, or you can use a drill. We use centre punches here, we find it quicker and easier, but there's no, nothing wrong with using a drill. And it's just a case of four nails, evenly spaced out, punched with the centre punch, and then, then nailed in. And then it's four down each side. And then when it's finished, it's like anything, when you build it yourself, you can stand back and look at it afterwards, knowing that you've built it yourself. And there you have your roof built and finished, ready to sit on top of your hive. It weatherproofs the hive, stops the rain getting in, keeps the bees dry, and with it being galvanized, it's fairly maintenance free.